Aya, Akim Echapungwea, Wayne Zwani, Neela Miamia. I'm Chief Doug Lankford of the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma, and I want to thank the committee for, uh, today for the opportunity to testify in support of S-2796. This, this bill resolves the tribe's land claim in East Central Illinois by doing two things. First, it gives the United States Court of Federal Claims the authority to decide whether the United States took land protected by the 1805 Treaty of Grassland without paying the tribe. And second, it extinguishes the tribe's claim to those lands, which forever eliminates cloud on title for the current landowners. For seven years, we have worked to make this bill law. In that time, we have only encountered one question. Why now? In short, because time has not stood still. Our claims were not resolved during the ICC, and due to past litigation, there is a cloud on title for the landowners of 2.6 million acres in East Central Illinois. The only way to clear cloud on title is for Congress to extinguish our land claim. And all we are asking in exchange for 2.6 million acres of ancestral homeland is an opportunity to be heard in court. We are not asking for an outcome. We are asking for a chance to seek justice. You might, you might ask, how did this come about? Although the Miami tribe seat of government is in Northeast Oklahoma, the tribe was forcibly removed from its ancestral homelands in Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio. In 1805, the Miami tribe signed the Treaty of Grouseland. By Article 4 of that treaty, the United States agreed that it would not take additional lands in the watershed without permission and consent of the tribe. Between 1805 and 1840, the Miamis entered into several treaty seedings, ceding most of its homeland. However, 2.6 million acres located in the watershed, today East Central Illinois, were never ceded to the United States. Despite lacking title, the United States sold the reserve land to non-Indian settlers, giving rise to the Miami claim and creating a cloud on title on these lands. S-2796 represents a common sense, mutually beneficial resolution to this problem. It is based on the legislation introduced by the Illinois delegation in 2001, H.R. 791 and S-533. That legislation was widely supported as common sense approach, and so is our bill. <clears throat> S-2796, which enjoyed bipartisan uh, support throughout its life, would extinguish the tribe's land claim, resolving the cloud on title, and grant the tribe one year to bring its case before the United States Court of Federal Claims. To be clear, the passage of this legislation extinguishes the Miami land claim and the cloud on title is cleared, regardless of the tribe's outcome in litigating its claim before the court. When the tribe asked Congressman Don Young to co-sponsor the bill years ago, he looked me in the eye and said, so the landowners get resolved, the tribe still has to prove its case, are you sure that's what you want? And I said, yes sir it is. And he said, fair enough. Congressman Young was a straight shooter and a tireless advocate for Indian country. He understood the common sense of the bill right away. The tribe has worked closely and diligently with the congressional leadership and local leaders from Illinois, especially those in the affected treaty area. And the Illinois Farm Bureau supports this legislation. Finally, please note this bill is not a land claim settlement bill or an appropriation bill. If the tribe prevails in court, its judgment would be paid from the Federal Judgment Fund. Also, this bill does not decide the merits or defenses and does not declare any winners except the landowners in East Central Illinois. Ms. Shanewe, thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee members for, the, for your time and the opportunity to testify in support of this bill. I have to say a special thank you to Senator Mullen for his many years of advocating for this bill. And I also want to thank Senator Durbin for his uh, time and attention he has given to this matter. And I'm happy to answer any questions the committee may have. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Miama. And by the way, for any member, any staff, any testifier, um, I take pronunciation very seriously um, because I come from Hawaii and also because my last name is Schatz. Um, and so um, in we try very hard to get it right, so please help us with phonetics and whispering in my ear. I, I, I do consider it a serious sign of respect when you get it right and accidental in this case, disrespect when you get it wrong. So Did you say shots? Shots, see? 
Schwartz, Schwartz, whatever you want. Yeah, um, that's a lot easier. I can pronounce that. 